steak lovers, you are gonna love this one. We've come to the south side of Bristol, here to the Asheville, to take on one of the biggest steaks in the UK. Apparently, this place is very special. Let's go and find out. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. How's it going? Good. Do you want to tell us about your, uh, your steaks? Absolutely, yeah. Come on, then. So, what we'd like to know, we have many different ways of steak. We have brown steak, southern steak, ribeye steak, fillet steak, chateaubriand. You do it all? Oh, yes, 22 ounce T-bone steak, 36 ounce, 52, 72 T-bone. Your numbers just keep getting bigger. And a 96. A 96 ounce T-bone? 96 ounce T-bone, yes. Has anyone ever eaten that? Uh, 96 ounce T-bone, no. Yes, it's been finished by the 72 ounce T-bone challenge. But finished by months. one person? Or, yes, or? it's only one person. Wow. Which is not just a steak. It's come with everything, come with six sides. <laughs> the 96, the 72 ounce is coming 10 sides. Whoa. Uh, 96, we give you the option to choose. So it's not just uh, a simple steak. And you have one hour to finish everything. 96 ounces, well, how many kilos is that? It's like... two kilos and 700 grams. It's nearly three, three kilos of meat. Yeah. And the sides. And the sides. No problem. Let's have that. Yeah, you will have that. Let's do it. Can we see the steaks? Absolutely. All right, exclusive access. We're out in the kitchen. Here we go. Oh my god, look at this. So that, is that the 96 ounce steak? That's the 96 ounce steak. That's just like a cow. I don't think there's, there's dinosaurs that can eat this. <laughs> Seriously. Look, feel the wet, Callum, feel the wet of that. Oh. How are you getting on there, brother? Right? Hey, it's hard. <laughs> what? Are you, that is just. That is one. That's mental. I'm speechless. So, like, uh, obviously, steak is a big part of your restaurant. Tell me about where's that come from? What's, what's the uh, what's the backstory? So the backstory is this place is opened around eight years ago as a bathroom pub, and uh, we did nice food. That wasn't good enough, so we have to find some way. Yeah. Uh, Specialise in a little bit. Yes. And uh, find out the steak is very interesting. Uh, I have no background for steak, but I learned enough to be. It started as a 22 ounce table steak and then a 36 ounce table steak. Yeah. And then we got up to uh, do some challenge. It was the 72 ounce table steak. So and the challenge was 72, but this is the 96. Both, both steak, both 72 and a 96 on challenge. Yeah, wow. So this means uh, whoever is finished at this frame. Uh, and how much is it if you don't finish it? 110 pounds. 110 pounds? Yeah. Which is but if you if you bought if you bought that uh, a, a cut of beef like that anyway it'd be up there wouldn't it from a yes. butcher? Yes. I, I think I got a, a huge T-bone uh, maybe six months ago, and that was a uh, thirty pounds yeah. from my butcher. That let alone with, with the being cooked. Yes. You know beef is not at the moment. It's a it's a real. It's a premium. Premium. A big premium. I personally think when you having steak as a treat. It's not just everyday food. Yeah. And uh, that's why it's, it's very important to use quality meat and, uh, I mean, quality butcher. So these are different cuts, you got the, the... So we have here ribeye steak, we have fillet steak, we have ram steak, 12 and sirloin steak, tomahawk steak, and uh, uh, T-bone, this is just the 22 ounce T-bone steak. We have a Chateaubriand here. And uh, we do, obviously, the 96 ounce T-bone steak. We do have on order, if someone pre-ordering A5 Wagyu steak, yeah. which is sirloin and ribeye. What is kind of funny, though, is these steaks, they kind of, if, that, if this wasn't here, they look big. But next to that, they just look pathetic. Even, I think, uh, not many places selling nowadays 10 ounce filler steak. And all of our steak is yeah. there as part of the uh, 12 and sirloin steak. One more thing. How the hell are you going to cook this? What's the, what's the process? So you can't just... I always say this one in the pan. Yeah. For a couple of minutes, both sides. Uh, try to be uh, give some crust in there. And then I will put it in the oven. Uh, I don't know how you want your steak to be cooked. Medium? 
medium rare. Medium. medium rare. I recommend always a little bit up because it's a big cut of meat. Uh, if you have a medium, it still will be nice and juicy inside, and you will see the big side. But it's, I can cook through uh, the meat. You, look, I, I, uh, medium rare, medium rare. Depends on the steak. I, I, I don't mind. Okay. Yeah. What, how, what the time? What's the time on that? Well, it's been a room temperature around one hour, one and a half hour, if I'm correct. So I'm gonna say at least 30, 35 minutes. It has to be. That's not too bad. Cooked. That's not too but bad. The main key is wow. you have to take out your steak for room temperature, especially in this size. Then you got to let it rest as well. Let it rest. Yes. Dare I ask about sides? Side, we will uh, give you some triple hook chips, which is we made yes. in the house. Yes. Some onion rings. Oh my god. And uh, homemade onion rings and ribs. Barbecue ribs. <laughs> ribs. Yes. Do we need any more meat? Of course, why not? And some sauce, your choice of. Here we have peppercorn sauce, tilton sauce, chicken chili sauce. sauce. Matt, at this point. <laughs> you know, I feel scared now. Ribs! The, my man over here says ribs! Do we need ribs? We've got 96 oh, ounces of meat! Yes, every meat lover, yeah? Oh, okay, just have the ribs as well. Let's do it. Let's do All right, let's go and. Uh, Thanks for having us in. I'm excited. I should probably go and start stretching off in the car park. All right. We've got right, some time in those meetings. How long is it in there for? It's gonna be, I'm gonna say 30 minutes. Okay, nice. We'll be in over. We will check in, we will come back and check in when it's nearly done. The chips, which is where uh, the triple cook chips, that's the last part, and that's where we clip see. Um, we are prepping some barbecue ribs, we don't need that. Salad and the sauce. In this side, we do the onion rings. If you're coming closer, you can see that. Just getting ready. Sounds deep on the stage. And some. It. <laughs> wow. Something else. I've coming. never seen anything like that in my entire life. It looks delicious. I mean, I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to go inside my body, but we'll give it a go. Enjoy. So you have some onion rings, you have some chimichurri sauce, pepper. More sides! And more, more sides. What is this? What is which this? Is, uh, we have some barbecue ribs and some. And more chips? Did we, did we need more chips, chips? Chips is a little bit different. It's parmesan and. Oh, the so this, they've got there. parmesan, so they're different? Yes, that's Oh, and what's this? Ribs? Ribs. ribs. Oh, we needed yeah. ribs. We definitely needed ribs. Just to try, why not? So pretty much you almost you have a size of challenge. Enjoy. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to this one. <laughs> Let's go! And here we have it. The 96 ounce T-Bone Challenge here at the Asheville in South Bristol. I'm so excited for this. And more importantly, doesn't it look delicious? Nicely cooked, I've got a crust, I've got that char to it. You can see all the pepper, all the flavor in the outer, that crust look. God knows what it's like. God knows what it tastes like. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to dive in. Now, Callum, 
Oh my god, let's get it set. Do I need to, start, do I need to stretch off, Callum? Link? Maybe. Limber up a little bit. Limber up. Okay, so let's run over what we've got. A little stacking tower of ribs, chips, parmesan chips, a salad. When you're doing a, a 96 ounce steak, it's very important you have a salad and a water. Onion rings, a trio of sauces, and the main event. Let's go. If you're watching this now, by the way, and you think you know someone who could demolish this, get them in the comments, tag them up. Right, you gonna count me in, Callum? You ready? Are Three, we ready? two, one, let's go. Let's go. Let's cut into the main event, shall we? I'm cutting this like a Christmas cake. Are you ready, bro? Yep. Ooh. There's the cooking. Come on, look at that! Look at that! Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Here that's, we go. That's nearly the size of a normal Yeah, I know, it's normal. <laughs> Just cut it off, like a slice. Pure caveman. That is absolutely delicious. The fat is beautiful. Oh my God, I can taste that garlic. Do you know what? I think I've got a chance to do this, you know? Mm. Is that a bit premature? Definitely premature. You've had two right. bites. It's peppercorn sauce, come on. Remarkable. I was really nervous to see how it would actually taste. We're coming to a proper steakhouse. We were dealing with these cuts of beef, this meat, this standard. You know it's going to be good. You can't focus your attention on something like this, so narrow. There's something about a good T-bone. Should we try something else? Ribs. Was that too early to... I just, I think I need like, Leah here or someone to give me the advice. Oh, I've lost it in there, let's go. Should I, uh, uh Jimmy Jury? This is, wow. Stunning, bro. Let's keep going. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Salt, pepper, garlic, thyme, rosemary, all the basics. You don't need anything else. Bristol, get behind this restaurant by the way. Please share this video. This is on your doorstep. Right. Triple cooked chips. We've seen these already in the kitchen, Callum. There you go, that's a good example. Look at that crust on the end. They're also almost like, are they, are they, one second, are they boiled first? Oh, so they're boiled first, smashed about a bit, opens up that surface area which lets the oil get in, get into the potato. Let's try it. Yeah. Remarkable. Wow, look at this. Very crisp, very crunchy. Watch this, watch this. Fluffy. This is ridiculous. Now, they are as nearly as ridiculous as bringing me out ribs. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Let's go. This neat little stack, neat little tower. Come on. Just by chance, I love ribs. Mm. Fab. What barbecue sauce is that? It's is it your own sauce? I've never tried it before. It tastes a bit Asian. Wow, they're so good, I've got another one. <laughs> Am I wasting energy with the ribs, do you think? Yeah, it's all gonna be eaten. Incredible.
they've got a wonderful bite to them. A real purchase. Wow, back to the steak. That barbecue sauce is sensational. How long have I had so far, do you think? I don't know. Uh, eight minutes? Ish? Seven, eight? Let's try some of these cheesy chips. Come on. I know this is a challenge, but the reviewer in me is really, really happy. There's a, an element of class here. I'm not gonna say I wasn't expecting it because I heard good things, but it's lovely to see. There's a standard, there's care, there's attention. I think Bristol is very lucky to have this on their doorstep. Beautiful little steakhouse. Fantastic. Small, cozy, but big enough that you got space. Very nice. Nothing like the rib, bro. All right. Supposed to be smashing the steak. If anyone comes there, by the way, please tag me in your video and let me know how you get on with this. Next up, onion rings. Look at these. Huge. That's what you need. Oh. Light, fluffy, wow. This is amazing. Some of you watching it now, I don't know if I've led you down the garden path or not. Did you really think me was gonna eat all of this? You've seen my performances in other challenges. I am terrible at this, but I might not be able to do it. But if you think you can, Get down here and try it. I don't think anyone could do this. Is this a world record? It might be. <laughs> Is it a world record? It's gotta be a Bristol record. Definitely the Southwest. Ladies and gents, that was absolutely fantastic. Myself and Pug Shoots now are gonna um, slowly work our way through this. Not within an hour. Maybe at the end we can cut back to see how we've actually done. I've loved every single part of this. The taste, the flavour, the team, the steakhouse, the ribs, the chips. My mind is blown. And it really is exciting to come to a proper steakhouse, doing things the right way. You heard the man at the beginning. We've got fantastic cuts. Proper cuts. All right, time for a score. Those chips are sensational. Those Parmesan chips bring a wonderful sweetness. Now, I'm gonna give this, everything I've eaten here today, the FRC seal of approval, score of 9-3. Big score, big flavors. I love everything they're doing here. And if you think you can take this on, what are you waiting for? Like and follow for more. Thank you for watching everyone. And that was half a challenge and half a review. Bush. One eternity later. Mm. There we have it. I think I've got a bit more space, to be honest. We've still got all the sides. I'll do them easy. Could we see the dessert menu, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. See us big daddy B, pugs and Matt on a mission. To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavours, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?